Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome to another episode of Solitary Asylum. Today is episode 4 and welcome back. So in between episodes I've been doing a ton of work collecting a bunch of cobblestone and uh, I can show you in here I've got nearly a whole double chest full which is awesome. If you saw last episode you'll notice there's been a bit of a change here. Well I had an auto cobble generator last time uh, with a, a mine factory block breaker, a couple of engines and things like that and I got rid of that setup mainly because it wasn't working well, the engines were overheating so I went and moved this around a little bit, added a hopper and so on and this works a lot better. I can just turn the auto clicker on and just leave the game running and uh, come back every now and again to repair the pickaxe and so on. Yeah that works a lot better got a bunch of cobblestone doing that and the reason for that is because today's episode we're going to need a whole bunch of cobblestone for today and the reason for that is because I want to go ahead and make myself a, a coke oven so we can start working towards this challenge over here uh, I need to get a whole bunch of creosote oil which means we're going to need a coke oven and a whole bunch of charcoal for that I also need a smeltery as well for this challenge over here so I need a lot of clay a lot of sand and a lot of gravel for all these type of challenges so I think what we'll do right now is get started on the coke oven, we'll get the bricks smelting up for that and I can also get ready for the smeltery as well. So for the coke oven you need like a 3x3 three three structure of these coke oven bricks which are just here and um, for those you need both sand and bricks for that. So we need around 144 clay, about 180 sand. So the sand's going to be easy, we can just go ahead and uh, convert these over so we need like three stacks, uh, wait wait wait, that's uh, 128, yeah so three stacks of sand should be plenty and we're also going to need a bunch of clay, now to get clay that's going to be a little bit awkward because we need to get gravel first of all uh, which is just like this, we need four stacks of gravel for one clay and we're going to need 144 clay for that many bricks so yeah we're, we're going to need a lot of gravel uh, we're going to need like eight stacks of gravel which I think is going to be quite awkward because I think we we either go ahead and get straight up dirt by doing this then we turn the dirt into gravel by let's just uh, do that there we go so that's how we get gravel and we only get 16 for that so yeah I'm, I'm kinda lucky I farmed up so much of the um, what's it called the cobblestone now I wonder if there's another easier way to get gravel without using the durability on this and the kind of is uh, this seems like the most straightforward way to go ahead and get gravel. We could use flint as well, but it sort of works out uh, the same recipe. We could get pulverized and pulverized cobblestone, but that means we need more cobble. And uh, that is about it, really. So this is sort of the best way to get the gravel, even though it may seem very inefficient. I don't know if we can do... No, nope, okay. Oh, we can get the flint like that, because that might use less durability on um, the minium stone. Yeah, that, that's a better way of doing things. Cool. Uh, so... This is probably going to take me quite a while to go ahead and get all of this. So I'm just going to quickly cut the video here. I'll see you once I've got all the flint, all the gravel I need. I also need gravel for the smeltery as well. I'm going to need like a stack and a half of gravel for the entire smeltery plus all its add-ons. So I'm going to get the gravel, what we need for that as well. And I will see you in a second or two. And I've converted a bunch of this cobblestone into various different things that we're going to need, so I'm hoping uh, that this should be enough. Now, like I said, we need around 144 clay plus some of the smeltery. So I'm going to use a couple of these stacks of gravel that we got, probably that much, uh, to create a stack of clay. Now, that is only one stack of clay. That is nowhere near what we need for the entire coke oven. I can get this smelting up now, though, uh, and that can be going, but I am going to need another stack of clay, which means we need a whole bunch more gravel, so... More cobblestone conversions are going to be the thing, and uh, it's going to take a little while, but hopefully, hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. I mean, that gives us another near another stack. Okay, I, we are nearly running out of the cobblestone as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and convert a bit more of this over to what we need, but I only have this much cobblestone left out that entire double chest, and I seriously can't believe we've ate through that so quickly. I might have to leave this running for a little bit longer, actually. Uh, to go and grab us some more cobblestone but hopefully this should give us just enough flint to be able to get just enough gravel to continue so a bit more of this maybe there we go that's two more of the flint okay that gives us uh, a couple of stacks of gravel to be getting on with and this should give us like another stack of clay so that's 128 and then all we need is about another 20 clay to continue so that's not too bad I think if we just grab our gravel here and we just quickly do that should give us 12 on top of that 128 that's 140 oh we're getting close okay just a little bit more flint and we should be able to do it 
there we go and that and that should give us enough clay okay yeah 144 only just enough I'm gonna have to do a ton more cobblestone generation or cobblestone generation collection automation in between now and next episode or probably later in the episode I don't know because I also wanted to get the smeltery done today and for that we need a stack of sand gravel and clay so yeah this is this is gonna take a little bit more resources than I originally anticipated but it's not it's not too bad it's not like it's a crazy amount more I mean for another stack of clay that's an only about another eight stacks of cobblestone I think or yeah an eight stacks of cobblestone so it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for these bricks to smelt up, which shouldn't take too long. They're probably around 10 minutes, I think. And as soon as they've smelted up, we can get our coke oven made and start smelting the coal into charcoal um, or creosote oil. And we can also get some coal coke from it as well, which we can use in these furnaces to sort of improve our efficiency. So I will see you in a second or two once they've smel uh, have smelted up. And uh, then I'll be right back. And I'm back, so I was just having a little bit of a think while I was waiting for these bricks to go and smelt up And what I was thinking is that we're gonna need a whole bunch more cobblestone for future projects If we ever decide to make a mob spawner, uh, we're gonna need it But not only that, but we're also gonna need a whole bunch of cobblestone uh, For things like sand, gravel, clay, and just like we've used it for now Because a lot of the stuff for this map revolves around using EE3 So what I think I'm going to do is automate the cobblestone generator. Now, we did automate it in the previous episode, but we didn't really do a very good job of it uh, because the block breaker that we was using, the one we made for a challenge, uh, was overheating with these sterling engines. The sterling engines were getting too hot and I have to keep turning them off and leaving it for a while. So what I think I want to do is make something that requires no fuel, or at least I don't think it requires any fuel, and something that's going to just work and work and work where we don't have to worry about it, and that is going to be a mining turtle. So this is kind of expensive for us to make at the moment, uh, and the reason for that is because you need a diamond pickaxe, that's going to mean we need three diamonds, uh, but we also need to use a stack of the wood on a, some redstone and so on. So it's kind of expensive, but I think that this is going to be a decent investment in this map, just because we are going to be needing uh, a lot of not only sand but like I said cobblestone and things like that and the only way to get sand at the moment for us is to use cobblestone so yeah I kind of need to do this so uh, I think this is going to be the best way of automating things uh, especially for the cobble gen just because this will work and work and work like I was saying so I need a little bit of uh, glass for this because I need some glass panes so we'll grab a bit of that I also need a stack of wood which we need to turn into oak wood so I can get some redstone there we go, and we'll just quickly pop that in there, grab a bit of redstone, so that's the first bits uh, that we're going to need for this. So we can craft this up, we just need to go in here and craft up a computer. Oh, I don't have my glass panes, there we go. I should be able to do it now, let's uh, quickly test things out. Awesome. Uh, so now we've got that, what I need to do is then get a chest, so I've got the stuff for that just here, and uh, we just need to craft a chest up. There we go. So that is our turtle made. That's the easy part. Now to break blocks, we're going to need to turn it into a mining turtle. So that means we need three diamonds, which is you know, it's kind of expensive at the moment because we need to use equivalent exchange to get gold to make diamonds. At least I think we can make diamonds from gold. Hmm, let's just have a look, see if we can. Because if not, my entire plan will be foiled. There we go. Okay, we can use gold. Awesome. So let's say if we take like eight of these, maybe, and turn this all into obsidian. So this is, this is going to be... Quite a, a big recipe for us to do. It's going to use a ton of our resources up, especially all the oak wood or jungle wood that we went and collected. So I might have to start farming some jungle wood up pretty soon, but it's going to use a bunch of our resources up and sort of drains a little bit, but hopefully it's not too bad. So for three diamonds, I need 12 gold. So there's eight of it. I think if we grab four more of these, we can get up to 12. So we'll just quickly get some more obsidian. You know what, this is actually taking a whole bunch of durability for our Philosopher's Stone. We might have to go and make another... In fact, we can't make another Philosopher's Stone. You know, I don't know the recipe for it. I think it's gold... For a Minium Stone, you need Minium Shards. Uh, which is basically the same as a Philosopher's Stone. I'm not sure if there's anything special you can do with a Philosopher's Stone that you can't do with the Minium Stone. But I think we might have to make a Minium Stone soon. So that means get some Minium Shards, which means we're going to need a Mob Spawner soon uh, to get those easy. Anyway, let's grab our three diamonds, we'll get our pickaxe made, we can get this automatic cobblestone generation, automation, whatever, combobulation, what, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to think of words that end in nation, nation, 
Yeah, exactly. So we need to hop over here. We need to give this mining turtle a name to start off with. Now, I've not used Computercraft for a little while, so remembering some of the programs might be a little bit awkward, but we'll give it our best shot. So we need to do label set cobble turtle. There we go. So that's going to save the program to that turtle. So if once you leave the world and log back in, it's not going to erase the program. And then we need to edit the startup file. And we need to do something like while true do uh, turtle dot dig. And then we need something like OS sleep to tell it to shut down for like two, maybe one second, just so it's not going constantly. And then end. So let's try this out. Let's see if this works. Uh, we'll just reboot it because it's on the start file. It should start up automatically. And there we go. Awesome. So that is working very, very well. We've got ourselves our very own turtle. Awesome. So that's going to go ahead, collect all the stuff. I think it'll fill up his own inventory and then all the other stuff that gets broken and it doesn't fill up, it'll put into this chest from the hopper. Uh, I could edit into the program to tell it once its inventory is full to put in the chest below, but it'll work fine as it is. And if we need to do that, we eventually can do that. I just want something that works for now and something that's very efficient. So that is that going which is really really cool awesome so we can leave that to run we can come back in a bit check how much cobblestone we've got and everything should be cool now the only problem i'm thinking is once his inventory gets full will he stop so uh, we'll have to check on that and see if that happens uh we could actually oh we don't have the cobblestone to fill his inventory up i was going to do that and just test but no we'll leave that to run if we end up needing to tell him to empty his inventory into the chest below we can but other than that Things should be good. So all these bricks, what we went and started smelting up, has finally smelted up, which is awesome. We should have enough to make all the coke oven bricks uh, that we need for this coke oven. And then I can leave this to run, leave the turtle to run, and uh, then come back and check on this in a little bit. So a 3x3x3 three by three by three tank, that is with a hollow center, so that's 9 plus 9, that's 18. 27? I think that's right. 26 with the... Um, What's it called? Missing, like the middle missing. So let's make 26 for now. Oh, I've made 27 anyway. Uh, and the rest of this can be saved. We might end up having to use it. And we'll build ourselves our coke oven. So we need to pipe all the creosote oil, as far as I know, into this here. Which means uh, we need a wooden pipe to output it, don't we? Oh yeah, we are. We are going to need a wooden pipe to output. And uh, I think for a wooden waterproof pipe, we need cacti. And you know what? I don't know if we're going to be able to get cacti. Have we... Uh... Let's have a look. Where's pipe waterproof? Let's search that up quickly. Uh, there may be alternative recipes. So pipe waterproof is either beeswax, cactus green. Okay, cactus green then. It looks like what we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need rose red or cactus. Okay. Okay, yeah. We, we're going to need either rose red and then convert it. So we uh, are not going to be able to build our coke oven here. And that's actually quite a bonus because... One thing I didn't want to do was build it directly here and not be able to see how full this tank was. I know we can't right click on it, there's glass in front of it, but I didn't want to see how full the tank was anyway. So I think if we build the coke oven up here, try and keep it as close to the pipe as possible. Uh, but yeah, that should be okay. It's kind of in an awkward location, but that should be alright. Or maybe I could even build it here on the corner and just bring pipes across because you get like 8 pipes per recipe. It's just the amount of cactus green we need. Uh, so we'll just quickly do this just to get some of this tank going. That can be forming up. Oh, it needs to be hollow in the center. I almost uh, forgot about that. Let's quickly do this. There we go. And uh, what we can do is just leave that there a second or two. Well, I grab myself a bit of glass. Have we got any left? Uh, I think I put some in here. And we need a wooden pipe to get the stuff out of there. So we'll grab ourselves oop, wrong way around need a wooden pipe and we need a cobblestone pipe as well so we'll just quickly pop those together now to get the water through these or liquids we need some pipe waterproof now luckily we've got some roses here and uh, I think we've got some other dyes there so I suppose these should work fine we didn't have cactus in there did we no I thought I was seeing things and uh, we should be able to convert these over to cactus green so let's just quickly do this orange Ink, okay, that's the way we're going to get ink sacks. Uh, let's see, cactus green, there we go. I think if we smelt this, we get pipe waterproofing. Uh, or maybe if we craft it. Okay, yeah, I, almost, I always 
I always forget. There we go. So we can get one of this for a uh, wooden pipe. There we go. And the rest of this can go towards the cobblestone ones. Awesome. And we now have a use uh, for that redstone engine that we made ages ago. Wherever I've put it. Uh, there we go. And a lever. Sweet. So grab ourselves some cobblestone. We've got a hopper. And we'll grab... Not cobblestone. I meant um, charcoal. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a whole bunch of this. And we can get this going. So I think if we do that. And if we hop up here. We should be able to put a chute on there. Now I don't know if this is auto going to refill. What I'll actually do is I'll take that out of there. Okay that does auto refill. Awesome. We don't have to worry about it. We can leave this run AFK and it's going to run for a little while on that. I mean it does take a long time to make the coal coke. And get the creosote from the coal. I mean it takes I think a few minutes to smelt each one of these up. But that's not too bad. So waterproof pipe. And waterproof pipe, redstone engine, and that there. So that's going to pump the creosote oil out of here, uh, bring it down into there, which I believe will go into that tank, and we can eventually complete this challenge. So all that charcoal we put in there, what was that, five sticks? That should be enough. I mean, I'm not sure how much creosote we get per charcoal. We need 576 buckets. So let's quickly have a look at the creosote, just so we can see if we can work this out a little bit. So, creosote oil, that's coal there. I wonder if charcoal actually produces less. I don't know. We will see. Uh, coal, okay, well, well, we'll see from that. So, it's 0.5 per piece of coal. Uh, so, that means for 576 buckets, we need like a thousand and something coal, I think. So, yeah, this is, this is going to take a very, very, very long time. But at least we've got that up and running, which is sort of the best bit. Now, what I want to do is leave this game to run for a little while. Uh, I'll come back and check on this in a little bit, and we'll see how far we've got on our creosote oil challenge. And I'll also check on how this turtle is doing after I've left this to run for a little bit. But I will see you in a second or two. Like I said, once I've let this run for a while, and uh, yeah, I'll be back very, very soon. And I'm back, so I've left this room now for around half an hour, maybe 40 minutes now, and uh, I've got a bunch of cobblestone from this, so I came back to all cobblestone everywhere all over the floor. Turns out that the hopper wouldn't actually pick up the blocks after the turtle's inventory was full, so it was just spitting the stuff out everywhere. So all I've done is I've just moved the hopper under the turtle and into the chest, and yeah, this works. Uh, I could edit the code for the turtle to tell it to put the items in the chest, but there's a hopper there, I might as well just use the hopper, really. <laughs> it seems pointless not to, since we already had it. And um, I've also got all this cobblestone here. Now, this is everything that was on the floor. Uh, so we've got all this cobblestone here, along with this cobblestone here. And it's getting around a stack of cobblestone every minute, because it's breaking one block a second. So, yeah, around uh, 60 cobblestone um, a minute, so that's just under a stack. So, yeah, it's kind of quick, and... Uh, this is definitely going to be useful, especially since we're going to be spending so much time uh, on the map doing other things. We might as well have that ruin in the background, collecting us cobble and getting us further on our quest for cobblestone, which we can use for other things. Uh, so now the next part for this challenge here, I mean, this has been running for a little while and it's used. Let's see if we can access that. Uh, it's used about 15 of the... Um, charcoal that we put in there and we are slowly making progress on that I wish I could actually right click that uh, to see but I can't right click that tank and find out so I'm gonna have to leave it it's gonna be a mystery well you will uh, eventually find out once it's done uh, but there's a whole bunch of other things I'm gonna need as well so I'm gonna need a signal lamp that's not too bad if we take a look at the signal lamp recipe it is just this thing here so a bunch of different dyes some glowstone some redstone things like that the glowstone we need from that glowstone essence that we got, so we're going to have to spend our time farming that. I also need a recycler and aluminium brass ingot. So that's all going to be something uh, that we focus on in the next episode because I need to turn a whole bunch of this cobblestone into clay and convert that with a bunch of sand and make ourselves a smeltery and then get lava, which lava is going to be a bit of a problem, really. Uh, we might have to either use blaze essence, which I don't think we've got any of. Uh, I might have to see if there's another way of getting lava. I think we could use a magma crucible maybe and use cobblestone with a magma crucible to get lava. That could be a great way of going. Ooh, we've got nature essence. Another one. Okay, we can plant this one over here. Awesome. Hey, oh, no, 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 no. That isn't nothing. Okay, I thought that was another seed. Okay, my, my brain's dying. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, we could use a magma crucible for lava. That would be a great way of getting it. Uh, we could also use a few other things as well. So I'm going to have to look into that, see which the best way to go is over that. 
and we have some copper essence here that I need to replant. And um, yeah, I'm not quite sure where we're going to go next with uh, this. Like I said, Magma Crucible for Lava maybe, and the Tinker's Construct Smeltery for next episode, so we can continue working towards this. Uh, but for this, we're going to need a whole bunch of Aluminium and a whole bunch of Brass, because the Aluminium Brass is something like 3 Aluminium to 1 Copper. So, yeah, that's going to take a long time. So, I'm going to spend some time in between episodes gathering more resources. I'm going to make a bunch of chests for all this cobblestone that we're going to get, because I can already tell we're going to get a lot of it uh, from that turtle mining system that we've got going. Uh, so, yeah, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you did, a like would be really awesome. And uh, hopefully I will see you all on the next episode. So, bye, and cue the awesome music.